The FBI is on the lookout for scammers selling fake vaccine cards, a crime that can send someone to prison for five years. We talked this afternoon to Special Agent Scott Argiro with the Pittsburgh FBI office. He says scammers are taking advantage of the opportunity to create these fake cards, which violates the same kinds of laws as fake driver's licenses and fake passports. Yeah, scammers making money, and you know, it hasn't been set as a mandate to, to travel or to, to use to access places yet. We can only assume that it may come to that point. That's not regulated by the FBI or law enforcement. That'll be regulated by lawmakers and, and uh, Congress. Uh, but uh, I think people are trying to get ahead of it. That special agent emphasizes how important it is to keep your personal information off social media. And that includes whatever information might be on your vaccine cards. To give you an understanding, it's almost like a trademark violation. When you watch a movie, you see that warning that the FBI will investigate if you violate a trademark. It's very similar with the uh, vaccination cards. They're stamped with uh, Health and Human Services seal and also the seal of the uh, Center for Disease Control. And fraudulent use of those seals or, or manufacturing those seals is essentially a trademark violation. As I said, punishable by uh, United States Code. The FBI says you can do more than just keep your vaccine card off social media. If you see any kind of fraud related to COVID or you're solicited to hand over your information, you can contact the FBI, drop them a tip online, or you can phone it in at 1-800-CALL-FBI.